Let's have some beer. What if you went down with people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we've got something that I just watched one, two, three, four, five, six different random YouTube reviews, like the first 20 seconds, trying to get the pronunciation of the beer and the brewery name. Nobody actually said the brewery name in the six videos that I just watched, so we're gonna wing it. I don't even care now. This is a bottle of Duchess de Bourgogne. Bourgogne? I don't know. It's That's like European all over the place. By... I don't know. Ver... Verhaegie. Verhaegie. Whatever the hell that says. I don't know. This is a Flemish red or something like that. Coming in at 6.2% ABV. It says the Flemish Art of Brewing. Product of Belgium. So, I often say on the channel how I'm not a fan of Belgian beers. Yeasty Belgian beers are my enemies. Flanders-style Belgian beers are usually pretty good friends of mine. So, without further ado, let's crack this open and see. That bounced off the carpet and in. I love when that happens. Let's see what we got. Oh yes, that is definitely looking like a Flanders red ale. Well, it just looks like a red ale, but I know it's Flanders, so, you know, the picture and stuff and things. That at least seems a little dark on the camera, but if we get a little bit of light back there, we will see. Yes. Red in the ale. Really funky, not great aroma coming off this. You know, it smells like red wine. Like the smell, it doesn't smell exactly, but it, there's, there's a really, maybe like cooking wine. Red cooking wine. It's very whiny in its aroma. But then again, a lot of sour, funky beers have that weird aroma. So we're going to get past that and let's give it a shot. It's fruity, it's tart. There's something weird going on. It's the best before of October 5th, next year. And I wanna say <laughs> Flemish Belgian beers are, you know, still Belgian, so the, I think they're usually able to be kept for a bit longer than kind of other beers, but again, bottle came here from Belgium did light make its way in there I don't know I'm not sure if this is the way it's supposed to taste it's kind of weird I'm not huge on it as of yet let's get into this let's do it uh, cheers everybody it's not bad I don't hate it it's just it's really unique. Let's go with that. I've not had this particular overall play, play, flavor profile, is what I was about to say. Flavor, flavor profile, flow pile. My God, flavor profile. It's different. Much of the different. Um, I don't remember what the hell the website was, but if you go. Myself, this is what comes up if I go to uh, B R O U W E R I J V E R H A E G H E dot B E. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to remember to put that in here somewhere so you can actually go to. But um, your IPA reputation has been marked as harmful. Please contact our customer service if you are the owner of this website. Okay. I have a VPN. I've never had any kind of thing like that happen with it before. I guess the fact that they can't track me 
from their website and get my info is that that's why they don't like my VPN. That's the only thing I can get from that. Like, a little bit of that going on there. That's some bullshit. So uh, we'll just go back to that. Indeed, we shall. Did I even click on that? I did. Okay, good. Just, just, just checking. Almost bit my tongue. My God. I almost bit my tongue. Such a stupid thing to bite your tongue. Thirty-eight years old. My tongue has been in my mouth with my teeth for that length of time. The tongue should be well aware of the positioning of the teeth at all times and not get in between them as they're closing. Piss me off. Okay. Um, I did mention the other day that I was going to uh, start thinking ahead and having things to talk about if I have rarer things to talk about. I may have forgotten to do that. So let's just look at this a bit more, shall we? There's some stuff on here. Authentic Belgian Flemish sour ale born out of Belgian hops, mixed fermentation matured in oak, perfect balance of sour and malty sweetness, fresh palate cleansing aftertaste, ruby red jewel. That is the most ridiculous description I think I've ever heard for a beer. That's that sounds like it was written by somebody who doesn't really know the English language. I am impressed right here. Water, barley malt, wheat malt, hops, and yeast. It lists the ingredients. That is something that does not often happen on these imported beers. Usually it'll say, contains barley. That's often it. I think it might be the fact that there's like the malty sweetness in there as well with the sour and I haven't really had many malty sour beers usually they get some fruity hops to make the sour or I'm not actually sure what I'm talking about surprise um just trying to think of something else to talk about right now I live streamed for the first time in far too long the other day. Played some sheltered. It was fun. Even though I got zero comments during the live stream. And I even streamed on YouTube. I was thinking of streaming. I got in I've gotten into recently a little bit of Grand Theft Auto 5 role playing. Man, if any of you don't know who that is, don't know what that is, I wouldn't be surprised. GTA 5. I'd be surprised if you didn't know what that was. There's Grand Theft Auto, you know, you play the game, and then there's Grand Theft Auto Online, where you can go play online. And then apart from that, there's another group of people that have made like a whole kind of world of uh, different servers, and you go into these servers, and when you go in, the cops in the city are actually played by real people a lot of the times. So a lot of the cops you come across aren't just GTA AI cops, they're real people. So you're driving through that, you're just supposed to like play the game as if you actually were living in that city kind of thing and generally not a criminal. It's, it's a really interesting thing to see and experience. It's fun. And yeah, I don't know, that was something to talk about. Almost took me to the 10-minute mark. Good for me. Fernando, if you want to check any of it out, there's two YouTube channels that have some really funny content where they're generally being criminals most of the time and screwing around with the human police officers in the game. One is a guy called Bay Area Bugs. B-U-G-G-S is bugs. Three words. And the other guy, it's all one word, Polecat, P-O-L-E-C-A-T, 234. If you want to watch some really, actually, freaking hilarious shit sometimes. Come to think of it, I'm now at the 10-minute mark, so um, I'm going to go watch some of that right now. And take a break. This beer is really, really, really kind of weird. It's not bad. It's just, I don't know. 
I'm not a I'm not a huge fan overall. I guess you could say I. I've had tastier Flemish red ales. Again, though, for what it is, maybe it's great. I've never had this particular version of a Flemish red ale. You could say. Sorry. Possible hiccups trying to occur right now. I'm not a fan. I think I'm okay. Yeah, it's just, I think that, I'm almost sure that's what it is, that malty sweetness. It's almost like that really good malty caramel flavor that I like. Now that it's warmed up a bit, that's kind of coming through more. But when you add the sour to it, it just, really unusual beer. Ratings wise, Untapped has 124 ratings overall with 3.98 out of 5, so people liking that. Beer Advocate, 4.15 out of 5 with 4,391 ratings. How is that possible? Oh, Untapped actually has it categorized into the different versions. This is the 2018 version, so that's why there's so few ratings on Untapped. I'm pretty sure overall, if you put all these together, Untapped would be winning because it always does. Rate Beer, 2,943 ratings with a 3.71 out of 5. So overall, they seem to like it. There's actually a bit of a description here on Rate Beer. Duchess de Bourgogne, Bourgogne? I don't freaking know, is a traditional top fermented reddish brown ale from the West Flanders region of Belgium. This refined ale, also known as the Burgundies of Belgium, it is a blend of 8 and 18 months old ales following careful maturation in oak casks, 100% natural, 100 natural and unpasteurized. Ew. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I can appreciate everything they did and, you know, a lot of people seem to like it, but I don't know. It's just a little bit too Belgium for Bel Belgium. Belgian for my mouth. Drink number the last. It's like it's good, but it's not good. It's really, really messing with my frickin' head and my mouth. The head of my mouth. No, my mouth has its own thought processes and brain kind of thing. You may have noticed that. Um I can't even remember what that was. I threw the bottle cap. It was a good shot. I remember that. Um it was Brewery Verheide. Yeah, that's exactly how that is pronounced. This this freaking beer, the beer that was in this bottle that went into this glass and into this mouth and is now inside of this middle middle section. Rating. Six and a half. I don't know. It's, I feel like if I drank more of it, like if I had one a day for like a week maybe, maybe I'd come around to it but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to force myself through anything like that. If I find different Flanders Red Ales, of course I will try them one at a time in the Daily Drink vlog form. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Like, come on, it's pretty silly. If you, if you want to see more, you should also know what to do, what to do, what to do, 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 do. And if you've got something to say, you know what to do there as well. Thanks again. I'll be back. Another day of work tomorrow. Uh, peace out.